Hey guys, guys, so we're back on, in this tutorial, we are going to be looking at and carry on from where we left off in part one. So this will be how to create a table within the database we created. So in the previous video, we imported the SQL Lite 3 module and we created the users.db. So we're currently connected to that database. So I'm just going to enter presentation mode on PyCharm and um, we're going to do some stuff uh, with the database. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create um, a, uh, a table. So we're going to create a users table and we're going to tell it what fields we want it to use. We're going to set a primary key. Um, which is going to be a unique identifier. So every user will have a unique identifier and they're going to have some details such as username, uh, first name, surname, and password. So to do this, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to use our cursor. So, and uh, we've already got our cursor there. So we're going to do a cursor.execute. So we're going to do cursor.execute. And. Okay, we're going to create a table. So we're calling it a user table. And we're going to have a user ID. And that user ID is going to be our, um, it's going to be an integer. And that's going to be our primary key. Okay. We are now going to start to create some of our fields. So we're going to have a username and it's going to be a var char and seventh of 20 and it's not going to be null, not null. Okay, we're going to have um, First name, I'll have that as not known. First name, should we have a surname as well? Not now. And then we'll just have a password. Just make sure you haven't got any typos. And we need to make sure our brackets are right. Oh. Uh. That should be fine. So you can see here we've opened the, uh, we've got the user table here. And then there's our first bracket. Oh, um, we don't want to do that. Uh, there's a bracket. And then obviously we need to close that and then close the first bracket there. So that should be fine. So if we run this, we shouldn't get an error, hopefully. Let's have a look. Yeah, there we go. So that should have created the table. And um, yeah. Okay, so I'd like to just 
check that. Okay, so uh, sometimes um, students sometimes ask what a var char is. So obviously a char is a character, um, whereas a var char is a variable character, and then I'm specifying the length here. So um, it can be up to 20, for instance. Um, so let's run this. Okay, no errors. So we're gonna exit out of presentation mode um, and have a look. So we've got the user's database here. Open, I'll open it in sort of like text view. So we can see here that it's created a primary key, so on and so forth, so that's good. Um, you can see here I've used integer primary key. Um, if you're familiar with MySQL, it doesn't have to be like that. Um, it's not similar like that. So uh, for instance, this could go at the end and then, you know, that would, um, by having that there, it also increments it. So happy days, uh, making every user ID unique. So remember to like, subscribe, share, and come back to the next uh, video where we will be entering some data into the table.